Today we will visualize the Fisher shuffling algorithm. Given an array of elements, how can we shuffle the elements such that it produces a random permutation? In 1938, Donald Fisher and Frank Yates proposed the following Fisher Yates algorithm. Given an array of elements, this algorithm outputs a new array that is randomly shuffled. Let's visualize this on the following input array. First, we initialize a new empty array to store the incoming shuffled elements. While the input array is not empty, we randomly generate an index between 0 and 4 to determine which element we want to add to our shuffled array. In this case, the generated index is 3. Since our index is 0 based, we will append the fourth element of the input array into our new array and remove the fourth element from the input array. On the next iteration, we repeat the same procedure. We randomly generate another index between 0 and 3 and got 2. So we append the third element of the input array into our new array, as well as removing it from our input array. We will repeat this procedure until we have removed all the elements out of the input array. At the end, the output will be a randomly shuffled array. However, this algorithm is suboptimal because at every iteration, we incur a resize cost from removing the element from the input array since we need to resize and potentially shift every element to its new position. The time complexity of this operation is big O of n, where n is the size of the array. Doing so at every iteration means that our algorithm's overall time complexity is going to be big O n squared. The good news is that we can reduce the time complexity down to big O of n by just swapping elements in place. Let's visualize this optimal solution using the same inputs as before. In this algorithm, we will iterate from the end of the array toward the beginning of the array. In the first iteration, we will pick a random index between 0 and 4. In this case, we pick 3. So we will swap the fourth element with the fifth element, which is also the last element. In the second iteration, we will pick a random index between 0 and 3. Let's say we picked 1. Then we will swap the second element with the fourth element, which is the second to last element. We repeat this until we are back to the beginning of the array. This approach is similar to a sliding window where the elements inside of your sliding window are the elements that haven't been shuffled. The elements outside of the window are considered shuffled, so they don't need to be shuffled again. If you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.